Man, it's been another crazy day on the internet uh, that I know nothing about and cannot speak about. But, man, <laughs> just keeping an eye on stuff, it's just like, man, today, this, this last week has just been nuts. But, uh, anyways, I had to get back on my, my water game, so uh, I had to jug back up. Uh, I'm almost finished. I got to finish the rest of this. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, KLT, back for another question of the day. Uh, today is Wednesday, January 27th. I am almost done with this full month of question of the, of YouTube vlogs. Didn't have to be question of the day, but, uh, but yeah, I'm almost done. 31 full days of questions of the day. Um, I've been thinking a lot about all the questions and stuff that I've been asking and like just looking and seeing if, uh, anyone else is really interested in this and, um, since not, I'll definitely, <laughs> I'll definitely be ending this at the end of the month. Uh, it's been fun, but like, yeah, there's, yeah, it, it's cool. But anyways, the question of today is, you know, something that will maybe help me move forward. I don't know. But uh, the question of the day is, who is someone that you look up to in the world today? And for me, I honestly, I, I put some thought into this and I thought about it for a little while and, you know, I, I put some brain power on it, but I don't really, I don't know, I don't really look up to anyone, you know, in that traditional sense, I guess. There's like, I don't have a mentor. I don't have anyone that I want to be like. I don't like, I'm, I'm not like, yo, this is, th please, please let me be like this person. Like, you know, it, I'm not, I don't have anyone that's like that for me. I'd say maybe there are like some some people that I had, I guess, previously kind of thought, oh man, it would be cool to be like that person. But then, you know, I, I met these people and I'm just like, man, nothing, nothing really, nothing really stand out to be like, that's that person. And I don't know, I don't know if that's like sad or if it's just, you know, I need to get myself to a position to be strong enough to be my own person that I'm looking up to, you know, like maybe I should be the mentor and I should be the, <laughs> the one that I look up to, you know, like, I don't know if maybe we put too much emphasis on people and things that are outside of our own control to be the ones that guide us. But, um, I've come to find that, you know, the more I try and, you know, depend on people and see if you know someone could help guide me and direct me and blah 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 um the more i've been let down so i think i'm just going to stick with doing what i'm doing on my own and you know try and move forward that way i mean people people have mentors and people have people that they look up to and everything and that's cool but unfortunately all the ones that i've tried to connect with or talk to or whatever they haven't been that way for me unfortunately like, for example, when I was in uh, college, when I first started college, there was this guy that, you know, he, he was, you know, a black dude. And, you know, he was like the mentor of all the people starting college and, you know, would tell people what, how to do the best to get to where they wanted to be and all that stuff and blah, 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 and all that stuff. And I was like, OK, cool. This guy's great. You know, maybe I can work with him and, you know, develop and grow and learn and stuff like that. But then when you start getting to know this person, like he wasn't the best guy. <laughs> like, he wasn't the best guy at all. And then plus he had one of those, he turned out to be one of those people that were like, we black people need to take over. Everything <laughs> is, everything needs to be under our control and we need to, uh, you know, swipe power and all this stuff and everyone else is beneath. And I was just like, okay, it's time to go. <laughs> I can't be, I can't mess with this. <laughs> so I, <laughs> So, you know, I had to, I had to get away from there, but then, you know, like there's other people that I've tried to talk to about like, you know, getting, advancing my career and learning and developing and growing as a leader and stuff like that. And then, you know, um, so I've met some people that I wanted to, you know, kind of follow in the footsteps of and work with to try and develop myself and whatnot. And they were like, oh yeah, definitely for sure. I see your potential, all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. And then it turns out they were just trying to get me into uh, market to me and sell their books and their, their coaching programs to me and have me, you know, spread the word for other people to go and buy their program too. And I was just like, you know what, forget it. Never mind, man. <laughs> so it's like, I get it. I know everybody's on their hustle and grind and everything, but you know, I asked this before and I'm like, whatever happened to just mentors? Like somebody that's like, hey man, 
I, I want to give back to the community that helped build me up. So I want to take you under my wing to, you know, teach you the things or whatever and all that stuff. We're like, give back. And like, I, I don't know what happened to that, but that, I think those times are over. I, I think the gig economy has like really made it so everybody's just like, yo, how do I monetize this? How do I get every last dime out of everything? And instead of like, you know, someone just helping someone or like, hey, you want to do this? I want to take you on as like an apprentice and like, you know, get you up here with me and like we can take over the world together and stuff. I think people are just really hyper focused on like, I've got to make money. and. I don't knock people for that. Like it's, it is what it is, but like, you know, I do, I, I think I missed out on the age when, you know, apprenticeships and like mentors and stuff like mentors and mentees were a thing and that that's kind of sucks. So now it's all just like really, you know, anybody will like in the voiceover industry, for example, like anybody will, will tell you what you want to know at a price like there's there's been um i kind of met with someone when i moved down here to texas and he was like hey you want to do this in voiceover you want to do this and this and this you should talk to this person they, they uh i talked to them too you know i kind of showed them what they need to do and pushed them on the way and he kind of showed me the same way and was like hey go talk to this person and um and you know you guys can talk and get together and figure out what you know they did and then they can help you and then I, I was like cool that sounds great and then when I reached out to this person they're like ah yeah no, no I'm like okay cool 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 no problem so the original guy then told me oh well okay well this person will surely help you let me give you their number and then you can contact them and I'm like okay dope so I contact this other person and they're like oh yeah definitely I'm I'm down to help you you know let's get you to a place where you want to be you we want to hit your goals and all this stuff and I'm like dope and they're like all right, so uh, it's gonna be this much, and I'm like, well, I'm just starting, so let me, let me, you know, I'll, I'll save up some money and then I'll get back to you. And they were just, they were just like, oh no, don't worry about it, and just completely cut me off. And I'm like, damn, okay, cool. I don't have the money. I'm not, I'm not good enough to talk to. I get it. That's cool. So unfortunately, because of like my experiences all throughout my life, pretty much my adult life, I, I don't really look up to people. I think I've become really jaded to the to the idea of looking up to someone or being like oh i want to be like that person or i would love to meet that person because i've met people that i thought that about and then when i met them i was just like this ain't it chief so i think it's i don't know i just think it's maybe unfortunate for me that i came in at a time of the world where like you know that stuff isn't really done anymore Everything is about the everything's about the cash dollar dollar bill and I'm like and I like I said I understand it's okay but at the same time I can't wait to be at a position where I feel that I am competent enough to be able to say hey you know you want to do this I'm gonna help you do this and I'm gonna teach you how to do it and get you tell me what your goal is and I'm gonna help you build steps to reach that goal and then we'll, we'll work with you together to get you there like I can't wait to be at the position where I can do something like that for someone like I, I did it before you know like way back in the day and, and, and something that like I really love doing like helping people reach their goals and achievements and stuff like that so hopefully in at least in the voiceover world like not in my day job world but at least in voiceover i can't i can't wait to be in a position where i'm good enough to be able to say yeah i can i can i can help you plan out your your course to get to where you want to be and then let's let's help you get there together and direct you to who you need to talk to in order to get what you need to get so that you can be successful like i really i i can't wait to be able to do that and and not be like well yeah go ahead and sign up for this coaching with me and then i'll you can get a package of five and like, i don't I, I i don't want to be that guy uh maybe eventually i i will like i don't know but i that's not something i'm interested in i think I want just my work to be my work and then afterwards anything that I do to help people just be just to help people that's it but anyways long story short I don't really have anyone that I look up to or any mentors um, maybe that'll change maybe I'll, I'll meet someone or I'll start looking into someone and I'll find someone that's uh, that's really relatable and someone that I can talk to and get some info from and 
you know, that'll like check in on me and see how I'm doing and be like, oh, well, you know, get, you're, you're slacking off. You got to get this thing going. You got to get this thing going. You got to do this. But until then, it's me, myself and I, and I'm still got a lot of work to do. So we're going to keep working. But if you have a mentor or if you've ever had a mentor before, hit the like button and let me know who your mentor was or what they did for you and uh, how helpful they have been in your development and your life. Uh, I'm interested in seeing who's who actually has like a mentor like in today's world and what you do with them and what you guys talk about. If you haven't had a mentor or like someone that you look up to, also hit the like button to let me know that I'm not alone in the search for, uh, for you know, someone higher up to, to, you know, kind of maybe give me a guiding hand and let me know where I'm going wrong and what I can do right and how I can do better. And, and that you're looking for something like that as well. So either way, hit the like button. If you've ever heard of the word mentor before, that's an easy one. Yeah, just hit the like button. But that's it for today. Uh, we're going to talk with you tomorrow for the next question of the day. We've got three days left, three more days of question of the day. Uh, and then we will finish out this month strong with a full new video every single day this month. Wow, that's going to be crazy. But anyway, so I will see you all tomorrow. Until then, peace.